One swing of this tail could shatter bone. Welcome to the world of Ankylosaurus. Not a hunting tool but a weapon built to end fights in a single strike. Ankylosaurus wasn't fast or stealthy. It lumbered like a living tank. From head to tail it wore massive bony plates and sharp spikes for defense. The showstopper was the tail club, an oval knob of fused osteoderms. A rigid handle of fused vertebrae and ossified tendons let it swing without self-injury. Flexible tails like Diplodocus Whip, Ankylosaurus built a reinforced battering ram. Thick muscles anchored to that stiff handle generated devastating force. Fossils give us direct proof. Healed wounds and broken spikes tell the story. Zool fossils show blunt force trauma exactly where a tail club would strike. These injuries weren't just from predators. Ankylosaurs smashed each other in fights. Think giraffes or rams, ritualized clashes for dominance, territory, or mates. The tail story begins millions of years earlier in North America. Early relatives had long, flexible tails lined with spikes, defensive, but not clubbed. Across Asia, tails grew stiffer. Fused vertebrae and ossified tendons appeared. Even without a club, a stiff tail becomes a powerful rod for delivering blows. Next step, bony knobs fused at the tip, the first true tail clubs. That dense knob changed everything, impact, durability, and spectacle. Not all armored dinosaurs chose a club. Some evolved spikes, others blades. A sword-like tail shows evolution tried multiple solutions to the same problem. Modern 3D scans and models let us measure the power of a real tail strike. Estimates show tips reaching speeds near 60 miles per hour. Astonishing for such a slow beast. A full-sized club could deliver between 7,300 and 14,400 newtons, enough to break bone. That force could snap legs or disable joints on large predators. Some fossils show healed blunt force damage, survivors of tail strikes. Zool hips reveal broken, blunted spikes that later healed, evidence of in-species combat. These wounds suggest ritualized violence, social behavior, not just predator defense. They weren't passive tanks. They were active players in their ecosystems. Different species refined the club. Wedges, flats, central prongs, each a unique design. Some clubs favored quick, precise strikes. Others favored blunt, crushing blows. In some species, the head and tail worked together. The whole animal became a weapon. Armor size and that club turned them into formidable opponents. These differences weren't regressions. They were specialized endpoints shaped by pressures. Each tail adapted to environment, predators, and social life. Studying these clubs teaches us about biomechanics, evolution, and behavior. Digital models let us test forces and reconstruct ancient confrontations. On paper, Ankylosaurus was slow and small-brained. In practice, it was one of the most dangerous herbivores ever to live. Armor, clubs, 